and then I can even close my eyes and go like that mm -hmm. and toss a bottle up and it'll land exactly where I want it to. Okay. And like oven mitts. I throw oven mitts and I just visualize them falling in a certain way and they fall that certain way. And just little things here and there throughout the day. Here. Hi, I'm Tyce. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Steven. Nice to meet you. Your name's Steven? How do you spell that? Uh, with a V. S T. Good. Because if it was a PH, we were doomed yeah. to be enemies. <laughs> I noticed that there's a bell curve for names that I yeah. actually get along All, with. Like, everyone always thinks it's with a PH, and I'm like, no. <laughs> no, like, I'm one of the good bosses, ones. Like, even my bosses write my name with a PH, and I'm just like, I'm so used to it, I don't even correct them anymore. Okay, like, okay. Whatever, you know? All right, so... What are we talking about today? All right, it's a little bit of two different things that mm. kind of go hand in hand, I feel like. So first, I, I've recently, you know, started thinking a little bit differently, and I feel like we all live in a shared dream. The I Matrix that, is real. I dig that hoodie, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that, that's the guy that gave me the idea. What is what is it called? Mod Sun. Mod Sun. Yeah, he's anyway. a music artist. Ooh. All right, so yeah. we're all living in a safe, we're all living in a dream. Yeah, like I think a simulation. we're all living in a dream. Like the Matrix. The okay. Matrix is real. But less so, I think it's less about like technology and computers. I think it's more so like spiritual. Like I think we're all dreaming and we just can't wake up. And what we perceive as death, that's when we wake up into our real life. Do we die in the real life as well? Yeah. Like I, it's kind of like a, my own personal form of like reincarnation, I guess. Mm. Like I don't really believe we wake up into another body or reality or whatever but I think like when we die yeah what we perceive as death I think like we wake up into another reality okay like another life yeah and we have multiple lives you think when we die we just wake up in another reality yeah like another life what's this other belief that you have though? and the other thing I was thinking of kind of goes hand in hand with that is like I'm recording I noticed you had a red lanyard I feel like that means you don't want to be recording yeah. that's right cool I, I feel like we're right all sorry you know on the same page right there so I'm like if we are dreaming. If we are dreaming. Then if we're dreaming. Yeah, if we're dreaming. So this the second belief is dependent yeah. on the first one? Yes. Okay. If we're dreaming, then theoretically, we are all gods. We can do anything we want to. I would get that. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, and that's my thing. Is like, you know, I've thought about that, and I'm like, you know, even scientifically, they've found something that's like small. I think they said they found something smaller than like an atom. And they called it the God particle. There are a lot of things smaller yeah. than atoms. Yeah, but you know, you get what I'm getting at. Like the smallest thing. They you call triggered it the God me. Particle. Yeah, triggered me. Right, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff that's yeah. smaller than atoms, and yeah. one of them is something that they call the God particle, the Higgs boson. Yeah, so you have heard of it. Yeah, there's lots of. stuff Okay, and I'm like, you know, so scientifically, scientifically, they're saying that we're all God. It's been proven by science. Okay, so let me ask two questions then. Okay. I get if we're all dreaming, we're all gods because to an extent we can control our yeah. dreams if we're like lucid dreaming yeah. at home. Yeah, like if this was a dream and I'm choosing to lift this, yes. then yeah. Yeah? But how do we know, so let's take a step back. Right. How do we know that when we, we're actually dreaming? That is actually what I wanted to get into next. Yeah, that's so what I wanted. So that's what I wanted to get into actually. So like, if you can demonstrate that, then everything else follows. Yeah. So how do you get so the first part? I actually have a couple of examples as to why I think that we're all dreaming. How confident are you that we're dreaming? About 90 to 95 percent, I would say. Oh, that's pretty high. 90 yeah. to 95 percent. Do you think you could be wrong? I, I could be, yeah. Okay, okay. Would you, if you were wrong, would you want to know? Yes. Okay, that sounds pretty, so you're still high, but you're not like to the point yeah. where you're closed-minded yeah. on it? Okay. What's, and what's some of the, what's the best evidence that you have that's proof that we're dreaming? Here's right what I think. I think that... Can I ask, oh, sorry, yeah. I normally like to define things. Okay. Like, when you say we're dreaming, you mean I'm dreaming, you're dreaming, we're sharing the yes. same dream? I, like I we logged like, into the same server okay, of dreams? Let me try to explain this. Yeah, talk to me. I feel like this. society as a whole, like everyone that is alive, yeah. is inside of the same dream. Controlling an avatar in the Control, same yes, dream. Yes, controlling an avatar in the same dream. So it's not like actual dreaming, it's more it's like, like logging a into a dream. simulation. Yeah, kind of like a simulation almost. Okay. And then we're all dreaming our own stuff. And as we're dreaming, as far as I'm aware, yeah. you can correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I'm personally aware, I don't think there's any way to scientifically prove whether we're awake or asleep. So how do you know? How I know is, you know, theoretically, even if you could scientifically prove that you were awake or asleep, how, even what we know as science and what we know as fact is only fact because that's what society says. Because the majority of society agrees on something, and that's what makes it fact. I understand that there are systems where people agree to things being true yeah. based on popular opinion okay. but how did you determine that we were in fact true 
Um, Not how other models yeah. are faulty, but how did you determine that? I feel like... What's the, way, the best method that you use to determine that we are dreaming? The best method I use to determine that yeah. is I started testing stuff, like with my mind. Okay. So here's how I look at it. If we are dreaming, you know, the theory is most people are not capable this of... This pen sucks. Dreaming. Yeah. <laughs> most people are not capable of, quote unquote, lucid dreaming. Could I make this pen not suck? Yes. With my mind? Yes. I if could? You, if you have 100% <laughs> faith in it. Ah! You gotta have faith. I gotta have faith. Yep. All right, so let's let's back up a little bit. Sorry for taking yeah. that tangent. I'm gonna use a pen that doesn't okay. suck. Oh my gosh, I hate pens that suck. Because <laughs> then it's just like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, you what can't even use it. I can't even use it anymore. <laughs> okay, so basically, we're trying to figure out what's making you so confident on the yes. first part that we're all dreaming. Okay. You said you know you're dreaming because you can test stuff with your mind. Yeah. So, can you give me an example of some of the best tests okay, that you did? Okay, so like. Uh, not this hoodie, but I got a shirt mm -hmm. in the mail, and mm -hmm. I, you know, it had been a few months since I ordered it, so I, asked, you know, I sent an email asking about it, and they said it was going to be shipping out in like, you know, three or four days. Yeah. Like that Monday, it was like a Thursday that I had asked about it, and they said it would be, it wouldn't even be shipping out like leaving the factories until Monday. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get that shirt tomorrow. I came home after work the next day. The shirt was in my mailbox. Nice. About three days before they were even shipping it out from the factory. Is that your best evidence that we're dreaming then? No, I've got more. And then well, I'm saying, is that your best one? Uh, I know you have more, but would you say that's your best? I would say no. What's your best one? Okay, if I had to pick one in What's the one that, if it turned out not to be the case, then you would actually go down from like maybe a 90 to an 89? Okay, right now, I feel like it's just little things in general. But what's the best one? I mean... Um, well, whenever I do anything at all... I just think about it and I can do it like meditation yeah like I meditate on something and then just immediately I just think about it for a few minutes mm -hmm. and then I can even close my eyes and go like that mm -hmm. and toss a bottle up and it'll land exactly where I want it to okay and like oven mitts I throw oven mitts and I just visualize them falling in a certain way and they fall that certain way and just little things here and there throughout the day is that the best proof for yes. this that is the best proof I have. If it turned out that you meditated and you were going to throw a bottle in a certain way and it turned out not to fall that way, then even I, after you meditated. Yes. Then I believe that I didn't meditate enough, I didn't have enough faith, and I let doubt cloud my mind. Oh. Ah, so I have an Do you only find out afterwards? Yes. Is it so falsifiable? Is it what? Is it falsifiable? Yes, it is. I don't know how. Like Could I, you ever do a test? But I'm open to it. Could you ever do a... Oh, you don't know how, but you're open to it. Yeah. If you don't know how, so here's the thing. If I didn't know what it would look like, so when I say falsify, I mean, do you know what it looks like when you're wrong? Right? Okay. Yeah. If you don't know what it looks like when you're wrong, could you be really be so justified to ninety to ninety five percent confident that you're right? No, I don't think that's a good way to put it because if you're so sure that you're right, then you have to know what the opposite would be. Let's right? work on a way to know what we can test because okay. if I am dreaming, I want to yeah. know about it too. What's a better test that we could do okay. rather than just meditating and yeah. seeing if it's wrong okay. and if it turns out wrong, I say, hey, I'll blame it on not having that right. What's a better test that we Think can do? about something that you really want in life, like something that mm. seems absurd, ridiculous. Absurd? Yes. Ridiculous? The most crazy thing you can think of. Can I can I tell yeah. you and we just walk it out? Yeah, if you want to. Uh, I want a purple Chevy Sonic. All right. RS, LTZ, full okay. trim, uh, back disc brakes, uh, preferably with a cold air... Is it so much details? Yep. Uh, I want a really fancy purple car. The more details, the better. More de Okay, yep. okay. That's what I want. Yep. Okay. All right. Now, all you I just have want to... a fancy car. Yeah. I want a fancy usable car. Okay. Now, what you want to do yeah. is think about that mm -hmm. as often as you can. Okay. And, you know, you're not going to be able to control when you get it. But just have faith that before you die, you will get it. You will do that before you die. And if I don't get it? And if you don't get it before you die, then at least you try. And even if you don't get it, then you can still have faith that, you know, you tried your best. And so if it you sounds die, like a motivational yeah. thing. If and anything. even if you die, you won't know that you didn't get it because you'll be dead. But I'm interested in a means of determining if something's true or not. Mm. Not so much just yeah. being motivated by it. What's a way that we can test this to know if it's true or not? Hmm. I really don't know. I think it's more of a I, philosophical thing. I think I don't know is a perfectly good answer yeah. when you don't have enough conclusive information yeah. for something. I also don't think you're absolute, but I would also consider that if you don't know what it looks like when you're wrong and you don't know what it would take for you to test that, yeah. maybe you should consider how confident you are yeah. and see if you're actually justifying that high level of confidence. Okay. Something to consider. Yeah. What do you think? Okay. That sounds good. Sounds good? Yeah. Steven, I appreciate the talk. Thank you. Thank nice you. Nice talking to you.
Anyone want to try this out? Yeah, go ahead. I feel like I, I talked I, to I you before. I oh my gosh, it's the doing? Turbo Wallet guy. Yes, it is. I got a new is wallet. Mike? I have a new wallet. You're all very nice. Oh my gosh, this is so great. It's thick. it's too thick. Last like, yeah. time I met him, I had a wallet that I had for like 10.